All right, let's test this thing out. I want to create a video in which I write a demonetized predictor to help myself and other YouTubers find out if their videos will be demonetized before they even film it. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Uh, wait a second. Man, I loved last week's episode featuring Sam Says Sweet Sounds.com. Hands down, one of my favorite videos in quite some time. Let's see how it's doing. Demonetized. Demonetized? What? I don't understand. Is it because I messed with my friends? Because there are dead rats in the episode? Maybe because the boogeyman was just too scary. Ah, uh, whatever, no biggie. I'm sure that YouTube gives me a detailed report on what I did wrong so I can fix it next time. Let's see here. Limited or no ads? Well, is it limited or have no ads? Okay. Identify it as not suitable for most advertisers. What does that mean? Whoa, whoa, so many vague eligibility rules. Okay, this is a problem. How can I figure out if future videos will be demonetized? You know what? I didn't think it'd come to this so soon, but I think it's finally time for machine learning. Now, here's my idea. I'm going to train a known network to be able to predict if a video will be demonetized or not after filling out a short survey. Yeah, I think this will be super helpful for the community. Okay, okay, but first things first. I need to collect some demonetization data and lots of it so that I can build an accurate demonetized predictor. So I'll just post an ad for help collecting data on Reddit and Twitter. Then when I check back a little later, I'll be swimming in data to train my known network on. Bro, you're quite the clever fellow. Oh, what? Only seven entries? Four of which I did myself? Ah, uh, whatever happened to my Reddit post? There is no way I can see it being done within a month, let alone a week. What? Do you know how to write software? Mind fried. All right, well, this really messed up the episode I had planned for this week. There's no way I can train an accurate neural network with only seven entries. Because if neural networks are like a car, then data will be like the fuel or electricity. Thank you, Lord and Savior Elon Musk for making that sentence seem relevant. But instead of leaving you all empty this week, I'm gonna write a simple demonetized predictor based on <laughs> the data in my head. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? And voila, here is the demonetized predictor. The predictor asked a few questions such as your video title, your category, explain your video, give us some tags, and then it will compare a lot of keywords that you inputted with a database that I created based on how I think the YouTube demonetization works. Well, actually no, I pretty much just took it right off their eligibility page. So please don't flame me YouTube, this is an interpretation on your own guidelines. P.S. No matter what, 143 YouTube, 143. Anywho, after the keyword comparison, the application will tell you if it thinks your video will be demonetized or not. And that's pretty much it. A super simple, yet super accurate demonetized predictor to make up for the machine learning version. <laughs> <laughs> But just to make sure that this software isn't completely boring for you guys, as an added bonus, if you're skilled enough to get your video actually monetized, I also wanted to generate a fun randomly generated thumbnail for you to save and share. Now, some of you guys have been telling me that I need to get a bit more technical with these computer science episodes because they aren't as educational. And yeah, I agree. So without getting hyper technical and boring you guys with lines of code, here's how I want to create the random thumbnail generator. Basically, we'll feed the input data into a thumbnail generating algorithm. And and based on the patterns that the algorithm picks up on within the inputs, objects of that theme will be used to generate a fun random thumbnail. Eh, hopefully. <laughs> you see, thumbnails are actually a really complicated thing for even us humans to make, which means trying to figure out rules that'll generate them randomly will be even harder to write. It's not like, say, a vehicle, where you know there will be at least two wheels, a chassis, some windows, some doors, some easy to spot pattern amongst all vehicles. So don't expect super high quality random thumbnails is what I'm saying. Unless, of course, you're like me and have really low standards for what a thumbnail should look like. In that case, yes, you can expect high quality random thumbnails. 
Let's just write this thing already, shall we? First, I'm gonna start by creating four themes. Cool, fun, cute, and happy. And these are going to be the themes that the algorithm will look for within the inputs. Next, I'm gonna surf the web for websites that have word lists that fall under these four categories. Yep, this will do. Uh-huh, yep, this. Yep, whatever, that's fine. All right, cool. Now, we have four text files with lists of words, but it isn't formatted in a nice way for my software to understand it, so I need to write a quick side software that'll automate and convert these text files into a usable format. And done. Now, after a video gets monetized, we want to compare the inputs to these four databases to define our overall theme. For example, 12% cute, 27% fun, etc, etc. And lastly, we just want to generate a random thumbnail based on the overall theme. Now, this can be done in many, many, many ways, but I'm going to do this by randomly generating a scene in 3D space for two reasons. One, I know I can do it quickly, and two, I know that I'm guaranteed to learn new things by doing it this way versus doing it within 2D space. And of course. I love learning. All right, and voila, a very simple yet super high quality random thumbnail generator. Uh, artistry at its finest. Puppies, puppies, family friendly, monetized. Now that's a thumbnail. Oh my god, look at it. Just look at this art. Introducing new crunchy mayonnaise. Ugh. Wow, I think I just got an offer from an art museum for this thumbnail. <laughs> that was fun. The demonetized predictor is now live on the link at the top of the description, but as I'm sure you're already aware, it's more of a game than a serious app, which is actually a perfect opportunity to hold a contest. Whoever can generate the craziest thumbnail and sends it to me, preferably on Twitter because I stays on the Twitters, will win some IRL randomly generated goodies. It just might be this 3D printed Boogeyman collectible from the Sam Says Sweet Sounds episode, tacked on with some stickers. Who knows? I'll announce the winner on the next episode. And yes, this thumbnail generator has enough substance to make a crazy thumbnail, okay? I'll have you know that I'm easily entertained by randomly placed objects. Thank you very much. All right, and now to the real reason why I made this video. I really did want to write a machine learning neural network demonetized predictor AI, uh, but I really wasn't able to get enough data points. And so if you've ever made a YouTube video and you want to help me with this project, just go to the link in the description. It's under survey link. It will direct you to my website and you can just ask you a few questions, fill it out, and it will submit the data that I need to train this neural network. And if I can collect enough data, then hopefully we can return to this video in the future and write a real like demonetized AI that maybe can help out the community for real for real. Yeah, I don't know. I want I created this whole video just to say this part. I don't know what that says about me. That's pretty much it that I want to say there. I hope that you guys have some fun with this version of the demonetized predictor. But but whatever the case may be, remember to always eat your pizza. I mean feed your curiosity. Mm.